Let's look at how to download and install the Chauvin Arnu PEL103 app for Android and how we can use it for remote setup. First, turn on the PEL103 Bluetooth function by pressing down and holding the control button and release it when the Bluetooth symbol is lit. To download the app, go to the Google Play Store on your Android device. Search for PEL103. Here you'll be given the option to download the app, or open it if you already have it installed as we do here. Open the app by tapping the icon. If the PEL has been previously paired to your Android device, it'll be in the list as shown here. Otherwise, open the settings window on your device. Select Bluetooth and scan for devices. Select the PEL103 from the list, then exit the setup window. Select Connect to New Instrument with Bluetooth and tap on the PEL when it appears. You immediately come to a live measurement screen. If the PEL was connected to a live installation, you would see the measured values here. To set up the PEL, tap the crossed spanner screwdriver icon as shown here. Tapping the instrument enables you to set up the date and time, format the SD card, change the auto power off time, lock out the instrument control panel to stop people accidentally starting and stopping logging sessions, or obtain information about the PEL itself. Coming back a menu and selecting measurements takes you to this screen where you tell the PEL about the installation you'll be connecting it to. Distribution system enables you to enter the nature of the supply, whether it's single phase or three phase, star or delta, even DC systems. In this example, we'll select a three phase, four wire wire configuration. The nominal frequency is already set at 50 Hertz. If you're connecting to an HV network through VTs, you would enter the VT ratio here. Current sensors bring us to this screen where the PEL103 automatically displays the clamps that are connected to it. Coming back to the main menu and pressing recording takes you to a screen where you can set a scheduled start date Start time, stop date, and stop time for a logging or recording session. Back up one level, you can also see the maximum recording duration based on the available space left on the inserted SD card. The demand period or aggregate period, which you can change. You can also see that the option to record one second trends is selected. And for this session, the PEL is not set to record harmonics. Tap on any of these to change their settings. At this stage, you can name the recording session by tapping on the last used name and entering new details. Once you're happy with your settings, you go back into the recording screen and press Schedule Recording. Selecting Yes will then transfer the setup data and scheduled recording start stop times to the PEL 103. Once this transfer is complete, you'll be returned to the live data screens. If the PEL was connected to a live installation, you'd see a live vector diagram and instantaneous measured values for phase to neutral voltages, phase currents and phase to phase voltages. With other screens showing power measurements, energy measurements, as well as phase angle and power factor. Display of crest factor and voltage and current harmonic distortion. Individual active reactive and apparent power measurements with calculated phase angles and power factor.